what is web hosting? Web hosting is like the virtual real estate that your website lives on. So if you're building a WordPress website, you're going to need to have web hosting. And web hosting is the space on a server in a data center that is maintained and managed professionally, and it's online 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if someone goes to your website at three in the morning and your home computer's off, your website's still online because it's living on a computer in a data center that's always online. And these aren't just regular computers, right? This isn't like your laptop or your desktop at home. These are highly efficient web servers. Um, they're designed to be incredibly fast and really have a lot of resources compared to what our websites have, or excuse me, what our home computers have. So the way it works on a web server is generally you're gonna start with a shared web hosting. And what this means is they'll partition out one web server and they'll give maybe 500 or a thousand different websites an equal amount of said web server. So you're effectively sharing the resources of that computer. Now the benefit of this is it's incredibly inexpensive to start, but the challenge of this is that you get kind of stacked on there with other people. Someone might be a resource hog or someone might be spamming or doing something a little bit shady and your IP address will be similar since you're in such close proximity to where their website's stored and that could negatively affect you. So I know all this because I worked in the web hosting industry for about a year um, from 2003, 2004 range. I did sales for a web hosting company. And while I was there, something really interesting happened. My little kind of mom and pop web hosting company that I was working for got bought out by this larger conglomerate known as EIG. And right now there's two big conglomerates in the web hosting world buying up every little web hosting company they can and they kind of squeeze them to maximize the profits. GoDaddy is one of them. I do not recommend GoDaddy. I don't recommend them for domain names, hosting, nothing, stay away. And the other one is this company, EIG. So here's what happens, right? So mom and pop start a web hosting company. They build it up through great service. They don't overload the servers. Everyone has a really good experience. And when they submit a ticket, mom and pop are there to take care of their customers and boom, the problems get resolved quickly. Everyone's happy. Mom and pop get a multi-million dollar offer for their web hosting company. And they're like, that's it. I've made it. They cash out. EIG moves in. EIG does three things almost every single time. And I, I'm telling you, I witnessed this because I worked at a company that went through this. Number one, what had happened is they gutted the support staff. The fastest way for a bigger company to make more money off a smaller company is to reduce the amount of staff, period. You see it in hostile corporate takeovers all over the world, and this is exactly what EIG does. So support wait times can go from seconds and minutes to 20, 30 minutes or an hour plus. When I started working with this company, your tickets would be answered within about five to 10 minutes. When I left that company, it was literally an hour wait time to speak with someone in support. That's not even getting your problem solved. That's to explain your problem. So if your website went down, it would take you an hour to get on the phone with someone who would then be able to potentially research and rectify the problem and get your website online. Terrible, terrible, terrible. The number two thing that EIG does every single time and GoDaddy every time they do it with their own servers, they do it when they do a buyout, is they double, triple, or quadruple the number of individuals on every single shared server. And what this allows them to do is service the, na the same amount of customers with a lot less resources, saving more money. So you, the end customer, get less resources allocated, which means your website slows down and the chances of you being cuddled up with a spammer and getting your website blacklisted because of the actions of others goes up significantly. Again, they come in, they walk in the door paying a million dollars, they're gonna go get their money out as quickly as they can. Labor costs and servicing the customer fees are the first two things to go. Number three, what they do is they increase the affiliate commissions to a point that is absolutely ludicrous. So you might notice, and maybe you've seen some of these income reports by people like Pat Flynn, Pat Flynn is so proud of the fact that he makes $30,000, $40,000 a month from Bluehost. Bluehost is a terrible host at this point in time. They used to be the mom and pop hosting company that cared about their customers and offered good service. 
they have been bought out by EIG and now for a $70 sale, they'll pay Pat Flynn $125 to $150. So they're paying him double. So he's financially incentivized to recommend this company that has shit service and really isn't there for the customers. It's a big numbers game. So when he's rubbing in the fact that he's making $40,000 a month referring hosting clients to this subpar thing, he's literally rubbing it in people's faces that he's promoting something that's subpar, he's doing it for the money, he doesn't really care about you, but he's making his money, so everybody should be in awe of what he's doing. That, oh man, just it frustrates me so much to see that going on, because that puts you potentially in a position where you're getting on with a company that's kind of shady. Uh, Bluehost, another one, HostGator used to be great. I used them back in the day. iPower used to be good back in the day. They're all falling apart because they've been bought out by these big companies and the squeeze is on. So let me first explain, I'm gonna explain two companies now, right? I'm gonna explain the one I recommend and I'm gonna tell you the one I use, right? Because I want you to understand that I don't use one of these for a specific reason. So who do I use? I use Big Scoots. Big Scoots specializes in virtual private servers and dedicated servers, right? A virtual private server is essentially a way they cut down to like, instead of hundreds of people on a single server, there's maybe four people on a single server. So you get a lot more resources. You always have a high volume of dedicated resources and a dedicated server, which is what I'm on, is literally that's my computer. There's no one else on that server. It's just me. I pay a lot of money for this, but my website delivers, you know, 15, 20 million page views a year. Um, I serve over 10 million visits, uh, probably in 2017, 10 to 12 million visits I'll be serving. And my site has over a thousand pages on it. And we have a lot of plugins. So I, I have a heavy site and I've grown into that, right? I started with shared hosting. And as my site grew and I started seeing these spikes of 200, 400, 700 visitors on my website at the exact same time, I had to expand from shared hosting to virtual private server to a dedicated server where I'm at. Now, they do offer web hosting, just basic shared hosting. It's a very good value, but they don't have a WordPress specific hosting option and they don't necessarily install WordPress for you. It's really easy to do. Um, so if you look at bigscoose.com and you think it looks great and you're in, that's who I use. Um, but if you're just getting started out and you're looking for a host to build your WordPress funnel and your WordPress website on, A2 Hosting has a WordPress hosting system that costs literally like $4 a month. I think it's four or five bucks a month. It's incredibly inexpensive. When you buy it, they install WordPress for you, which just saves you a few confusing steps. And they do something that's called hardening your WordPress installation. And hardening your WordPress installation is essentially doing some security patches to your database names, and they just make sure it's locked down to make it as difficult as possible for hackers to try to get in and get access to your website. Now, as a new site, that's a very small problem or a very small chance, right? They go after bigger sites like ours um, because there's more of a value for, for the hackers in the long term, but that's, that's a really key and integral part um, A2 hosting is still owned by a private company. They're in it for the long haul. They have years and years and years of great service under their belt. Their support answers quickly. They will help you out with problems. And they're just, they're one of the good guys. And that's who I recommend. I've got my affiliate link below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, but I am in no way, shape, or form promoting them because of the financial incentive. In fact, if I went with another company like some of these passive income people out there who are just pulling your leg to make a buck, uh, I could make more, right? So I'm personally, consciously, specifically choosing to recommend a company that is in your best interest, not my best interest. And very few people seem to be doing that online. If you're going with ClickFunnels, you don't need web hosting. That's built into the system. If you're going with WordPress, you need web hosting. Um, A2, again, if you buy out a year, I think it's under $60 for a year. If you wanna do it monthly, I believe you can get it as low as like seven or $8 a month, maybe maybe lower. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing at how inexpensive it is to build an internet business in this day and age. Now, one last thing. You only need their base version, which is good for one website. Uh, you don't need to upgrade right away for anything. You can always upgrade with a phone call in the future. 
the one add-on you might need at some point is what's called an SSL. It's a secure socket layer. It's essentially the ability to run HTTPS and have the little green bar up top and a little lock signal, like my hand signals here. Um, the only reason you would need HTTPS getting started is if you are doing transactions. If someone is actually putting a credit card number in on your website to purchase. If you're being an affiliate or if you're using a third party system like Thrivecart or Samcart in order to manage your checkouts, you don't need an SSL. And again, you can always add that on later. An SSL, you have to buy it for a year and it's $50 for a year. So all said and done, if you need an SSL and hosting, you're talking about $100 for the year, which breaks down to an incredibly low price. You compare that to ClickFunnels, it's $297 a month for their premium package, and there's a significant difference there. It puts that barrier to entry very low for you. You'll need to build your WordPress funnel. I'll put the link to the WordPress funnel training series in, in the description. If you're jumping in, get started, get WordPress going, build out your first funnel, and just run with it. Uh, but really with the web hosting side of things, be sure you're in alignment with a company that has integrity because that means they're in it with your best intent, with your kind of like best goals and needs and desires in kind of in their best intentions. And a lot of these companies don't do that. It's kind of shady. Interesting that I used to work for a company that went through this and I saw it happen. Um, very frustrating experience to go through as an individual Then I was a part of them. Uh, last thing, probably the third time I've said last thing, and I do mean last thing. If you're on with one of these companies like GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost or one of these kind of shadier companies, A, you probably didn't watch this end, but if you did and you're on with one of these companies, stay there. It's probably more beneficial for you to continue to publish content every day and do a 90 day challenge right now and then shift your site over at the end of 90 days than it is to go moving your site around. There's no sense wasting that time if you're not experiencing problems. But if you have downtime with them, if they're not responding to your tickets in an effective manner, that's why go to A2 and just, just make the move happen. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you could hire somebody on Upwork to move your site for you for probably about five, 10 bucks, and it should take them maybe an hour or two is all. And your site will be live in the same place and everything will be up and running, um, nothing changed. So that's my little ditty on web hosting. I hope you understand now what web hosting is, why it's necessary, if it's necessary for you, and you know the options that I recommend. If you have any questions, that's where the comments come in. Leave me a comment. I'm happy to answer your questions. If you like the video, a thumbs up helps me get the reach out, which is my only goal here. And if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe. I have some great stuff on the way for you, and I will see you on the next video.